Hello everyone. Good evening. How is everyone doing tonight? This is Brenda with Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. Hey Nancy. How are you guys doing? Say hello when you come in. Hello, 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 everyone. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Victoria. Hey, Sheila. How's everyone doing on this fine Monday night? So, I'm excited. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this snowman rail. Um, it came from... I'm good, Donna. How are you? Hey, Mary. Hey, Patsy. Hey, Amber. Um, it came from the crazy chicken lady. And um, I kind of... It came in separate pieces, but I put it all together. Um, and she is going to, hey, Andrea, offer this to you guys um, all in one piece. I kind of pieced it together. So, hey, Linda, how's it going? Hey, Victoria. So, it's got the 12-inch, um, I think it's 12-inch, whoops, 12-inch um, textured snowman. Hey, Sherry. And then a little hat on it. And then I attached, sorry. I attach the rail. Stop. Sorry about that. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Okay. Hey, Johnny. So that's what we're going to be making. I know it's an adorable. You can see the texture on it. Can you see that? Um, it's really cute. So, um, hey, Gail. Hello, hello, hello. So that's what we're going to be making tonight. So let's get started. Um, hey, Anne. Oh, 53. I know it's cold, right? So we're going to do 30 inch ruffles with this um, black and um, black snow mesh because I think it'll really bring out the black in the hat. So I'm going to cut a couple of these. I had some partial rolls here, so I'm going to use that up. And let's see how it goes. Hey, Peggy, how are you? That's that one. Hey, Kathy. How's everyone doing tonight? Hello, hello, hello. I know it's Monday. The weekend went really fast, didn't it? All right, just going to make sure I get this tape off here. Hey, Dorothy from Georgia. How you doing? Yeah, it's been chilly here. All the leaves are changing. Hey, Sandra. Um, so it's definitely, fall is definitely in the air. Hey, Teresa, how's it going? Um, so I probably need three or four of these. I don't know how many, but we're going to cut four and go from there. Hey, Sydney, how are you? Hey, Valerie. Oops. Okay. So, oh, nothing, Eileen. I was just um, showing everyone what we're going to make tonight. So, we're going to do this. Oh, don't forget my mesh roller. You guys got to love that. So, see if I can get this stuff out of the way enough to do this. And I have my... Hey, Annette. How's it going? Hey, Tony. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take and put some pipe cleaners on here. Put one on the end. Oh, well, it's fall here. Let me tell you that much. It is definitely fall here. No doubt about that. Nope, not yet, Karen. We just got started. Hey, Diane. And then I'm just going to put them like every couple of inches. Let's say every four inches. One, two, three, four. And if we need to add more, we can add more. Hey, Janice. Hey, Eve. So one, two, three, four. And on this mat, it's marked every inch. So that's how I am um, measuring it. Hey, Eve. How are you? Hey, Judy. I know I have a huge announcement. So I'll do this. I'm so excited and scared and nervous at the same time. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? So, um, so yeah, I know. 
No, I did not make the rail. It came from um, the crazy chicken lady. So, like, she sent me these pieces, and um, I was going to make a wreath out of it, and then I'm like, you know what? She sent me this rail, and I'm like, I'm going to put it together on a rail. So let's see how this turns out. The um, crazy chicken lady is where I got the sign. Let me um, get you the link to her store. Uh, let's see. And she is going to... Hey, Nancy from Pittsburgh. How are you? There we go. There we go. Okay. She's going to offer this... Um, no, I didn't sell anything. I know it was bad. It was really bad. Anyway, she's going to offer this, the whole thing put together for $25, which is a great price because this sign alone and the rail and all that separately, um, you know, yeah, she'll sell the snowman and the rail together. So, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 30 inch ruffles. This is going to be a little hard. It's big. Okay. Probably going to have to cut one. And what I do is I take the end and, you know, mesh phrase. So I'm going to thank you so much for sharing. Fold that end in so that you don't get as much fraying. Whoops. Don't fall. And then I'm just going to do the ruffle here. I am in um, Pennsylvania, Patty. I'm in Eastern PA. I'm about an hour away from Philadelphia. Hey, Judy, how are you? So I might need more than one ruffle in each. I might do two. I don't know. We'll see. See how it turns out. And we'll go from there. So because when I put the um, ribbons on, it's going to get covered anyway. Oh, thanks, Rayanne. Hey, Claudia. Hey, Dreama, how are you? So, I don't really know. You know, a lot of times when you do these rails, it's really, thank you so much for sharing. Yep, if you guys could share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, when you, by the time you put the bows on, you know, you really don't see the mesh at all, but that's okay. So we will see. I'm going to put one on each one and then I will um, make the bows and then we'll see if I think I need to add another one or um, just do one. Now this mesh is really easy to roll when you do the ruffle method because it has the snow lines on it. So you kind of can stay right on these lines so that your um, ruffles are even and that makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> so that's that. So I think I need at least two more. But let's see how it goes. I know it is. It's a 12 inch. Um oh joy, the Wreath Makers Live. Hey Colleen. Hey Mary. Um the Wreath Makers Live is a convention that Damon Oates and Julie Samaka did last year for the first time. And I think it was just a two or three day event where they teach you to make wreaths, um, you know, kind of get together as a youth wreathing community, get to know each other, that kind of thing. So um, I was not able to go last year. And um, so I really want to go this year. Um, so I did get a ticket. And I'm so excited about that. So hopefully <clears throat> everything will work out. Um, and I can actually go. So, yeah, it's, um, I mean, like I said, I didn't go last year and I was really disappointed. I really wanted to go, but the money just wasn't there. So, um, the snowman, uh, came from the, um, crazy chicken lady. Yeah, Jackie. Um, I did post her link to her page. So you can go right on there and check it out and she is on here so if you have any questions you can ask her she does custom signs and um so like i said you can customize them now see when i'm doing this 
ruffle. You kind of want to stay in the middle so that your ruffles don't go all wonky. So that's what I like about, hey Pamela, about the snow mesh is you just follow these two lines right up and you gather it so that your ruffle will be even. I know, Mary. Um, last year, I think they sold out in like a day. So, and Damon was on um, a live today and said that two-thirds of them are already sold out, or two-thirds of the tickets. And that was um, that was early today. So, hey, Lord Jean, welcome. Glad you're here. So, yeah, so I'm excited. So, hopefully, like I said, hopefully everything will work out and I'll, we'll be able to go. So, so has anybody else got a ticket yet? Hey, Rachel, how are you? All right, so. I think I like it just like that. And like I said, we'll see. That's what it looks like with just, and even that's cute. Now, I did put a little more space in here um, because when I do the bows, I didn't want them to cover the whole bottom. That's why I kind of spaced mine out a little bit. You probably can get away with half of that distance, um, but I kind of wanted to see how it would look. So I'm going to make one bow and see how the sizing is. And then if I need to add more, um, you know, add more. The rail came from um, Crazy Chicken Lady as well. Oh my, yeah, I did. I, I got my room today. Um, so I'm good to go. Like I said, I hope everything works out and I can actually go. Oh, thanks, Mari. All right. So now we're going to make the bows. And I picked out these different ribbons. So I picked out this, um, red and black. Um, from the top. Hey, Barbara, how are you? From the top all the way to the bottom. Um, like I said, I put a lot of space in here. You probably don't need that much. From the bottom of the rail, from the bottom of the actual rail, is to the top of his hat is a little over 24 inches. So really, it's about the size of a wreath. You know, yay, Laura Jean got hers too. Hey, Diane. So I picked up this black and red ribbon. I picked up this black and white striped ribbon and a solid white. Because I wanted to pick up some of the black in his hat. Um, I don't know yet, Donna. Um, I'm probably going to be rooming with Jackie from Crazy Chicken Lady. So I got that all set up today. All right, so then I have this um, red with the like little snow edge. Okay, so those are my four one and a half inches. Yep, and Jackie got hers. And then look at this ribbon, you guys. Don't you just love that ribbon? Love, 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 love. And then this ribbon. So those are the ribbons I'm going to be using. Get, get those out of the way. So we will be making three bows. Maybe four. Depends on how many we need here. So um, I'm going to use my Pro Bow. So how many of you guys have a Pro Bow? Hey Jane, how are you? I am going to get this out of the way. All right, so then I take, um, hey Sandy, I use, this is a 22 gauge wire, and I do it about, I don't know, 29 inches, and you need two pieces. Thanks, Judy. Hey, Venus, how are you? All right, so I cut two pieces here. Cut it in half. Okay, and then fold them in half. You just ordered one, you're gonna love it. Okay. 
All right, so I got my ribbons going here. So the first one we're going to use is this black and white checked. Okay. Hey, Vicki. And I'm going to kind of eyeball it here. And the first piece of wire is just basically to get your bow started. Oh, Becky, I could make a bow to save my life. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. So that's why I had to get the pro bow. Can't make those by hand. Can't do it. I don't know. I'm just not that talented, I guess. All right. So once you get it tied on, let me move you guys in a little closer here so you can see. All right. So once you get it tied off, you're going to take the bottom one. And there is a little nail down here. You're just going to wrap it around that once to get that wire out of the way. And then you take... Oh, great, Daisy. Well, welcome. And then you're going to take this top wire and you're going to wrap it clockwise around this peg. Donna, I am making a snowman rail tonight. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to dovetail the ends. Okay, and then I'm going to take the two pieces of ribbon and put it up to the front. Okay, so that is your first one. Now this is where the second... Um, I am going to the Wreath Makers Live, Barbara, in next August. Okay. So then what I do is I take the second one. This is called your helping hand wire, okay? It's gonna kind of, And you take it in between here, and you take it to the um, right of the peg. I think she ordered her um, probo today, Jackie. Okay, so then you just bring it to the back, and you just want to do it one tie. Okay, and then we'll have one wire up, one wire down. Which one, what should you buy first, Daisy? Okay, I'm going to cut off a dovetail here. Hey, Pat, how are you? All right, so you're going to measure it to the end of this peg here, and then you're going to gather it. Hey, Berlene. Hey, Maria. Yeah, I think it's going to be really cute, Sydney. And you're just going to hold it here and wrap it around this peg, and you're going to pinch and twist, wrap it around that peg, pinch and twist. Oh no, Trixie, sorry about that. And then you're going to tie it off. And just one really tight tie. And then what I do is I hold my ribbon out to this peg, put my scissors against here. Can you see that? And then I do the dovetail. Okay. And then that gives you the second ribbon. And then we're going to do the white ribbon. We're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to dovetail the ends. It must be the internet. Who knows? It gets a little wonky sometimes. Okay. We're going to again measure it out to that peg. We're going to gather it and put it here. Just going to hold it there. Wrap it around that peg. Gather it together and twist. Wrap it around that peg. Hello, Carol. How are you? I have been doing wreaths for just about, about two years. Okay. All right. Then again, I'm just going to take this over to this peg, put my scissors there, and do the dovetail. Carol, we are making a snowman rail. Alright, so that's those three. And then the fourth ribbon is this. This is from Sam's Club. It's got the snow edging on it. I love this ribbon. Hey Linda, hey Carol, how are you guys doing tonight? 
So excited everyone is here. Hey, Jerry Lynn. Again, you're just going to measure it out to that. You're going to bunch it together. Hold it there. Wrap it around this peg. Gather it and twist. I know, I love the snowman too, don't you? Gather it and then tie it off. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing. Yay! Johnny got her ticket today. All right. So that is the four singles. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the two, two and a half inch ribbons. Again, I love this ribbon. Look at that. Ugh. Hey, Beth. Hey, Judy. I know I do too. I love everything snowman too. I am in um, Pennsylvania. I'm about an hour outside of Philadelphia. Oh, Kimberly. Hey, Della. I wish I could make mine by hand, but I just can't do it. And this just really makes it easy. All right. So I have these two together. Um, this is, now I say my version, my version of the Damon bow. Um, I don't think I do it exactly um, as the original version is, but, you know, you kind of put your twist on things. All right, and I'm going to tie this in right away. Just going to tie that real good in one twist. Oh, where are you at, Gail? Okay, I'm going to, now look, see what's great about the Pro Bow. You don't have to hold on to the bow, to the ribbon. You just put that there. Oops, let me get that one off there. It's untwisting. Yeah, this is from last year, this ribbon. Um, this red, I don't think they have this this year, but I love this ribbon. Okay, so you're going to gather together and you're going to twist. And the twisting is to get the... Um, Nice side of the ribbon facing forward. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm about an hour from um, Lancaster. Okay, now look. You don't even have to hold it. So you're just going to gather. There's a craft show. No, I'm not going to that one. Where's that one at? In Harrisburg. Okay. Just gather and twist. Okay. And see, that's what's nice. You don't have to hold your ribbon. Hey, Susie, how are you? Susie is the wonderful inventor of this wonderful mesh holder that we use. It is one of the two or three tools that I can't... Um, Cannot live without. Okay, and then we're going to bring it here. Okay, and then I'm going to tie it off because we are done now. And you want that really tight. And then what I do is I take these two helping hand wires and I just twist them together. Now, some people cut them off. Oh, thank you, Robin. Um, hey, Nancy, how are you? Um, I can give you my affiliate link to Susie's Mesh Roller. I can find it here. Here it is. This is my affiliate link to Susie's Mesh Rollers. So if you want one, get one there. I get a few pennies for it. So, yeah, this over here is the mesh holder. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, okay, so let me show you my mesh holder. Can you see that? This is the um, ultimate collapsible mesh roller. What I love about this is, A, you can fold it down, um, and it folds down flat. So if you want to take it anywhere, if you're going on vacation, if you want to, you know, anything like that, 
Plus it holds, it'll hold six rolls of 10 inch mesh. You want me to zoom in? It'll hold um, six rolls. Let's see if I can get that up right there. It'll hold six rolls of the 10 inch mesh, um, three rolls of the 21 inch mesh, and a boatload of rolls of ribbon. Now, she also has what is called the, um, Susie, correct me if I'm wrong, um, a, um, a gift wrap one, which holds your gift wrap ribbon. Yeah, Carol, if you're going to get one, get this one. It's awesome. I love it. I use it all the time. Um, it's fantastic. It makes my life so much easier. Okay, so let me zoom back in here. Sorry about that. So yeah, if you guys want one, use my affiliate link, please. Okay, come back over here. <laughs> hey, Sydney, if you want to cook for me anytime, I hate to cook. Um, the rail came from the Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Recent Signs. Now, um... I forget how much this one is. You'll have to look it up. It's right there. Um, my link is right there, and you can go on there and check it out. Um, but it is well worth the money. So you definitely want to get one. All right, so then I'm just going to do this as tight as I can. And, whoops, sorry about that. And then I'm going to twist these two together. Can I do that? I've lost that tightness here. Okay. All right, get that one out of the way. Yeah, the, okay, Susie says the collapsible one is 77. But let me tell you, it will make your life so much easier. I tell everyone the two tools that I cannot live without are number one, my mesh roller and mesh holder, and number two, um, my pro bow the hand. I love this thing. I could not make the bows um, without it. Oh, you did, Denise? Oh, isn't it great? I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so now to get this off of the pro bow, the easiest way to do is just to pull this one out and then the bow comes right off now i know i need to make at least two more bows no the shipping is extra i think carolyn but i'm telling you it's worth it or put it on your christmas list tell your husband um to buy it for you for christmas all right so we're going to fluff this one out so i can see if i need um, more mesh or what i need hey martha how are you yeah, the Pro Bow is great. And so what you do, this is my fluff box. I have a little um, eye hook on there, I think it's called, and then a nail. Oh, sure, Berlin, absolutely. And then you just want to pull your bow up like that. And then you're just going to fluff it out. It does. It really does. I mean, I use it to cut all my ribbons. I use it when I'm, you know, putting my mesh to cut my mesh. Um, it just makes life so much easier. And I just, I love it. So, all right. I'm getting this side fluffed out here. Yeah, now the fluff box, you do have to order that off of, um, I'm putting all my tails down to one end because of the way the um, bow is going to be. So you will see that in a minute. The um, fluff box you have to get off of um, Pro Bow the Hand, or you can also make it. I made my own. Thank you. I know I love this ribbon too. They're very easy to make, the fluff boxes. So you can make your own. The key is you just want to have it heavy enough. Um, to hold your bow down while you're really wrangling on it here because you really do kind of pull on your ribbons to get them where you want them to go. Um, some of the ribbon came from Sam's Club. Some of the ribbon came from um, 
Costco. Some of it came from um, a wholesale place that I use. So, get my ribbon all over. Okay. All right. So, let's pull this off and put it on there and see. Yeah, it's 12 by 12. Yep. I made a 12 by 12. I know this ribbon is not cheap, but it is awesome. I know, don't you? I love that too, Sydney. Okay, so let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see me. Sorry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wires here. Okay, and I'm going to start, I'm going to put the one in the middle. And then we will work our way out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that up there and see if it covers. I think it's going to cover that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see if I need some more mesh or not. So I'm just going to put it there and I'm going to hook it onto the rail. And see what we need here. Um, what I did for the fluff box is, let's see, I think I'm going to add another row of, um, of mesh so that it covers that. Okay, so let me set him to the side again. What I did for the fluff box is I had um, old, whoops, there goes my bell. I had old kitchen tiles that we had used and I put them in there so that it would be heavy because you want your box to be heavy so that it holds your, um, your bow down. Get these out of the way so I don't cut them. The snowman came from the crazy chicken lady. If you look up in the comments, it is um, her, the link to her page is on the comments. Okay, let's do those three and see how we like that. Okay. The rail came from the crazy chicken lady Reese and um, signs and Reese. Let me see. Uh, let's see. So the mesh roller and that. I will put that in here again. So that's for the mesh roller and for the um, sign. Okay, and again, you're just going to follow that line there so that your um, ruffle is even. Okay, and this time I'm just going to take that pipe cleaner and wrap it around there, and then I will add it. Again, do the same thing. I fold the edges under so that you don't get that rough edge sticking out. Okay. Again, you just want to kind of keep it centered. And this snow mesh makes it so much easier to do that because you just follow the lines on the snow mesh. Oh, hey, Georgia. Yes, I did 30-inch ruffles. Mm-hmm. And the 30 inch just gives you a nice full um, ruffle. Yep, 30 inch ruffle, Diane. 12 inch pencil wreath form. Um, on the 12 inch, I would probably put six on the top and six on the bottom. And see how full that comes out. This mesh is 10 inches, and I cut it to 30 inches. Okay. 
Okay, so let's get that out again. All right, so I'm going to add one in the middle here. Still no water, Karen? Oh, no. That's not good. I just want to kind of make sure that that is covered a little bit. Yes, Carol. Yep, I would put six on the top and six on the bottom. Yep. Okay, I'm going to put one here. Hey, Peggy Dean, how are you? Yeah, it's 10 inch mesh cut to 30 inches. Thank you, Carolyn. Yep. Okay, and then one here. So I put five on the bottom and I'm going to put three on the top. So um, that's eight pieces cut um, 30, 10 inch mesh cut to 30 inches. Okay. All right, and then I'm just going to wrap them around. And then just wrap it around this here. You just want to make sure that is nice and tight. This mesh actually came from Joann's last year. and um, But I know Craft Outlet has it. Oh, sure you could, Gail. Sure you could. Okay. So, see how much that, you know, kind of fills it out a little more. Covers that a little better. Okay. Um, the snowman, let me grab my bow I dropped on the floor here. This whole thing, um, the round all will be 25 from Jackie. So now I'm going to put my bow on here. I'm just going to kind of feed it through the mesh here. I know, isn't that great, Susie? And I haven't seen anybody else do it. And Jackie does a great job. Wires are getting caught in the mesh here. <laughs> okay. 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 Um Okay, so I'm just going to put that tight in there. And I wanted the first one to be like right in the center. And then I will put my other two off to either side. Okay. All right. So what do you think? Even just with that one bow, look how adorable that is. Love it, love it, love it. Love this bow. Okay, so now we're going to make two more bows, one for each side. And I think I might go down a size in the bow and have just have the center bow really big. And then um, let's make one and see what it looks like. That's what we will do. See what we like. You can't see the whole thing? Okay, I'll zoom out again. Let me tuck this wire down here. Get my wire tucked. I don't want it poking out. Now I will go back when I'm completely done and just hit these pipe cleaners and stuff um, with some hot glue. So let me zoom out a little bit. And can you see him yet? I know he's big, right? Let me back up. Isn't that cute? Love him. All right, so 
So now we're just going to make two more of the bows. I know, isn't it cute just like that, Sharon? It really is. It really is. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's make two other bows. Ah, you're asking about the announcement. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. Okay. So again, we need two pieces of the wire. I know, doesn't it, Sydney? He's so cute. Again, I always make my wires long. I just, I thought, you know, kind of make them long that way. If you need to cut them shorter, you can, but you can't add more on. All right, so again, we're going to do our two pieces of wire. Oh, how's it going, Stephanie? Okay. And righty. Okay, let me bring you guys forward again. Yes, right? Okay, we're going to get over here now and make the second bow. Okay, so we're going to get our ribbon back here and get moving on this bow. And I'm just going to put it on how much I think I would sell this whole thing for. Um, well, you have $25 for just the sign part. And then this ribbon is a really expensive ribbon. So um, by the time you add up the cost of all the bows, I would probably sell this for $75 to $85 because I'm going to have a lot of money into it. So probably $85, I would say. Because this the snow ribbon is it's expensive. Okay, so... Dovetail the ends. <laughs> Donna. Donna, 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 Donna. I just have to wait and see. I know it it that that expense that but it's beautiful. I do love that ribbon. You want to buy a vow. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are funny. Okay, again, you're going to put that helping hand wire through the center of that one and bring it to the back. And then twist off. Hey, Steven! Did you get the, um, did you get the, uh, package I sent you, Steven? I don't remember when I shipped it out now. Did I ship it out Friday or Saturday? Okay. So. Oh, I don't need that one again. You guys have me all flustered. All right. Here we go. I'm going to measure it out to that peg. And we're going to gather it. Put it there. there and we're going to gather it and twist it and put it around that one <laughs> I know I'm keeping you guys guessing <laughs> All right, and twist it off And out to the edge. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a little, a little crazy going back to work, huh? I know, 
I'm excited, you guys. It's going to be a crazy time coming up, but it'll be fun. <clears throat> hey, Karen, Malcolm, doing well? We are doing well. Oh, you did? How many did you sell? No, hey, if you, I mean, it's just so hit or miss, these stinking craft shows. Oh, Stephen, I'm sorry. Oh, Stephen, I hope you don't have to have surgery. I pray the, that the um, injection will help because I know you have to have been in really bad pain. Did you get your package, Stephen? I don't remember if I sent it out Friday or Saturday, but you're pretty close to me, so I was thinking you might have gotten it. Okay, now we're going to do the two and a half inches and we're going to pull that together at the same time hey dorothy how are you don't forget to share this please if you guys would be much appreciated okay i'm going to pull both of these together Oh, hey, Barbara. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm going to Wreath Makers Live, Diane. I'm so excited. At least that's the plan. So hopefully that'll work out. Are you going? Wow, Donna, that is amazing. Congratulations. Girl, that was a huge hit. I've never had a show that good. I'm doing well, Connie. How are you? Next, not this weekend coming up, um, but next weekend I have a three-day show. And I don't expect to do, you know, anything like that. But um, hopefully... I'll sell some. You know, it's just too, um, it's just too, the craft shows around here, I don't know. I just can't find any really good ones. But that's amazing. Holy Toledo, I would be. Um, Donna, let me see. Robo the hand you can get here. And they do sell a larger version. Um, this is the large. They have a deluxe that's like the size of this table. I mean, it's huge. Yeah, that's awesome. I'd be jumping out of my chair if I did that, Donna. Oh, Stephen, I hope the yeah, hope the surgery. Um, it's Damon and Julie, and I think it's um, it is a learning convention. Oh, thank you, Connie. It is a learning convention. Oh, awesome, Amber. Great. Amber won the Halloween wreath I gave away a couple weeks ago. 
Yeah, I think it's it's um it's um you know a lot of just getting together with people, read you know learning read stuff, um, learning you know and just kind of um. I can't believe he sold those trees. Hey, Janice, how are you? How much did you sell your trees for, Donna? That's amazing. Where are you at, Donna? Hey, Judy, how are you? Girl, I'd be jumping off the table if I sold that many. Um, there's a couple different prices for Wreath Makers Live. There is a three, um, just the two day. And then there is um, additional add on day. Like if you want to more learn more about the, um, you know, the business side of it, there's an extra day. Yeah, that's the problem. The last show I went to, there was like four other wreath makers here and or there and um, the market was just saturated. But you know, what? I didn't so see anyone selling wreaths. So Hey, Janie, how are you? Welcome. Yeah, if you guys could share this page with your family and friends, I would appreciate it. If you do not get a live alert already from me, type live in the comments. And um, you do have to respond to that. Then you will get um, a response back. And then every time I go live, you will get an alert as to that. All right, so put that one up there. I know, don't you love it? Like, look, just look at those bows. I mean, they make such great bows. Missed the part where you said to buy the bow maker. Um, Starlene, oh, I love that name, Starlene. Scroll up in the comments, and I have it um, in the comments there. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, that's true, Kathy. Yep, everyone wants it for free. When I um, went to this craft show, do you guys remember the um, the Rudolph I made with the large um, the Rudolph? You know, with the it was a swag. Everyone loved it. They all sold already, Diane. Holy cow! Yeah, I made. I actually made a, a couple of those the other day. Not not exactly like Damon's. I'll show you when I get done. Um, but I made a couple the other day before his live, and I was like, "Oh, look at that!" I made two, and I made them a little different. So, yeah. Well, Damon, everything Damon touches turns to gold. So. Wow, that's great, Donna. Good for you. Who do you have your website and domain on? I don't have a website right now. <laughs> um, it's something I have been putting off, but I really don't think I need one right now. But I have an Etsy shop. I have my Facebook page. I have my YouTube video. So... First one. So now we're done with that. You know, I love this ribbon combination. Hey, Kathy. Got to put my fucking hand wire in there. Oh, me? I don't know. 
Sometimes I feel like I'm I don't have any energy, but um, oops, board slide around. I know. I know, and this weekend, like I said um, earlier in the week, I'm getting my four grandsons for the Thursday through Monday, and then um, the following weekend, I've got three-day craft show. Yeah, I think so, too, Joy. I think so, too. But everything he touches turns to gold. I wish I had that, guys. Now, he, don't get me wrong. He is a hustler. But, um, yeah, people just flock to everything. Hey, Billy, how are you? Damon does. And rightly so. I mean, he's earned his, his stripes. I mean, he put in his time and he works hard. So, um, Damon Oates from Deco Exchange. Yep, and him and Julie Samaka are the ones who, um, are doing the Wreath Makers Live. All right, now the white one. Thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah, Damon Oates. Yep. Yeah, I don't think he ever sleeps either. The guy, he works hard. I mean, it's not what he does. I mean, he works hard for everything he does. So you got to give him props because he's not one to sit down and, you know, just kind of sit on his laurels either. So he's always doing something new and always, you know, that kind of stuff. I am making a, right now I'm making a bow. But I am working on a snowman rail. You can't afford what, um, Eileen? Yeah, he is very giving. He is a very giving guy. Yep. Okay. I'm running out of room here. Okay. Next one here. Yeah, he um he has he has worked hard. He really has. And he's great at what he does. So he is reaping the rewards. Um, this is a my version, I always say this, my version of the Damon Bow. Because I don't always think um, you know, I do it the exact same way that it was initially done. I mean, I kind of put my own little twist on it, I think. Yeah, he's a hard worker. I mean, he and Parker, they are hard working men. That's for sure. Um, I don't remember what kind of... Um, yeah, right, Donna, see? I know. See, sometimes you'll sell a bunch and other times nothing. So, kind of giving up on craft shoes, I think. I just don't have much luck with them. But I do good on, you know, okay, on Etsy. Oh, thanks, Sandy. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I know, right? I love this ribbon. Like I said, it's an expensive ribbon, but whew, I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, they worked in the oil and gas. Yep. Okay. So, um, Kathy, yep. It's, it's just um, practice and um, something. Man, I'm used to miss this whole roll. It's a lot of money here. Yeah, I mean, he require, he, um, he 
left his day job. Parker left his day job. His her, their um, Damon's mom left her day job. Um, I don't think so, Teresa. No, you do not. But um, a tax ID really is helps you. Now, of course, you have to pay taxes, but um, you know to buy wholesale. I'm going to use this whole roll. And that is a lot of money. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's a hard worker. He really is. You got to give him props. I mean, you know, people think, oh, he, you know, did this overnight, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he's been doing this stuff a long time. So. Nothing happens overnight. You have to work at it. You really do. If you want your business to prosper, you got to move with the times. And you have to, you know, work at it. It's not just something that's going to happen overnight. These two ribbons are two and a half inches. The first four were um, one and a half inches. I really only use like two and a half and one and a half. I do have some four inch, but not, um, not a lot. Yeah. He loves his dogs. He's a very giving guys. Oh, Kathy, we can work on that. We can definitely work on that. Yes. I'm putting it around every finger. Yeah. And it just takes practice. I mean, really what I tell people is go to the Dollar Tree, get a bunch of Dollar Tree ribbon, and just practice your bows. Um, Carol, uh, you can check with your state, but if you sell your items, I know in Pennsylvania, I think, I think it's $500. If you sell more than $500 a year, you have to pay taxes. I think it's $500. You have to pay taxes. So. Okay. Again, you want to check and make sure that you get that off of the middle there. That you have all the wire off. That will mess up your bow. And then tighten that good and tight as you get it. And that's why I use the 22 gauge wire. Because when you pull it sometimes. When I would use the 26 gauge wire, I would... Um, break it. Yep, there you go, Nicole. 22 gauge. Because if I use, or tw even 24 is okay, but mostly I use 22 gauge wire. Because when I use 26 gauge wire, I would break it all the time. It's too thin. As soon as I would pull on it like that, it would break. Yeah. Okay, take that off, and there we go. Yeah. Yeah, the Pro Bow is great. Yeah, that's why I said you have to check your state, because every state's, you know, probably going to be different on what they require from you. Um you know, in taxes and stuff like that. So you really do. Yep, I used to miss that whole roll. So. All right. Just have to get this out of the way here. Yeah, I like the 22 gauge because, like I said, I would always break it. And I'd be like, darn, broke it again. Okay. Let's get our bows fluffed here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I said you have to check with your state because um, every state has different tax laws. So you want to make sure that um, 
you are following what your state says because I obviously do not know what all the state stuff is. I'm just going to cut these tails a little bit. All right, and start fluffing. I use 22 gauge wire. Yep. And this box just makes it so you can really yank on your stuff and get the bows the way you want them to be. So what does everyone have planned for this weekend? Anything exciting? Anything going on? Yeah, I do too. I do too, Joy. I definitely think it's demographics because it just you just never know. You really don't. Um, yeah, I do the tree bows. Yep. Yep, I sure do. Tree toppers. Yeah, they take up a lot of ribbon too. Okay, there's my second bow. number two and the last one here um, this fluff box I made um, but you can buy one off of Probo the hand but they are very easy to make I just took a 12 by 12 little box I bought the bottom part of the box at Michaels the top part of the box at AC Marks I couldn't find one at Michaels and I just put um, heavy tiles in there to hold it down and because that's the whole premise of it it's kind of to hold your bow in place oh awesome carol that'll be fun while you fluff Yeah, I guess they are Georgia colors, huh? I love the combination of the red, the white, and the black. I just really love that combination for Christmas. You know what's crazy though? When you do a lot of this kind of stuff, you kind of tend to forget about your own decorations because you're so busy doing other stuff for other people. So, all right, let's get these on this. snowman back here. Let's move you guys back. Hopefully I'm not making you sick moving you around here tonight. I feel like I'm moving you all over the place. Woo! Okay. And yeah, I put um, yeah, for the tiles, I put um, inside, I put like heavy tiles and I just kind of wrap them in like an old towel or something so they wouldn't rattle around and that kind of stuff. And just attach them. 
or you know stuck it inside the box. Yep, that's all I did. Yeah, right, Diane. Um, yeah, Regina has instructions on how to make a fluff box on her site, probothehand.com. Yep. Yeah, and like I said, it's, it's, you know, they're easy to make. Because really, if I, um, that her husband made her fluff box. And put, oh, that's funny. Right, exactly. You can use anything. You can use playground sand. It's just, you just want to weigh the box down so it's not going to move around your table when you're making your bows. That's all it's for. It's just a weighted box that um, helps you hold that, that bow down. <clears throat> okay, one more to go. Yep, it's just a box, you know, a heavy box that helps you to hold it down. Yep, brick, concrete, anything. Exactly. I just happened to have the old tiles laying around that some of them were broken, and I thought, well, um, it's a good time to use them because I'm obviously not going to put them on my floor because they're broken. So I just used them up for that. <laughs> yeah, put your bills in there. That would be good. Yeah, the handle really helps. Absolutely. Because those, I made it pretty heavy. I couldn't tell you how much it is. But, um, you know, you want it heavy enough that it does hold down that, that box. Okay, just about done. Now it's made, I'll show you. Let me show you when I'm, I'm done this, how I made it. I just bought, I'll try and get this in here, wrap that around. Oh, I absolutely sell it, Carolyn. Yep. Okay, so here. Oh, I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. Okay, so that's what he turned out like. I think he is adorable. There he is. And then we'll just hang in. Yeah, 85. I'm going to make, um, this will be on my site for 85. Yep. So, because these two ribbons alone, it's a lot of money just in these two ribbons. So that's what he looks like. All right. So, who is ready? I'll give you guys back. Who's ready for the big announcement? Who's ready? Who's ready? I am, I am, I am. Oh, yep, I will put my Etsy link in there. Oh. Here is the link to my Etsy shop. So go check that out. Okay, you guys ready for the announcement? People have been asking me this for months. And I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And so I am just going to do it. I am going to, you want to zoom in? Isn't he cute? Look at that. Love him. Okay, the rail just comes like this, and I will, you know, tack this stuff down so it doesn't go anywhere and glue that on. 
All right, so he will be in my website on tonight. Okay, so I am going to start a wreath making group, a monthly um, wreath making group. So um, it's going to be uh, no, Sydney. Oh, heaven forbid. No, <laughs> no, I would not be excited about that. <laughs> Um, people have been asking me for months about, um, doing a group. So I have decided if you are interested in the group, type group in the comments and, um, you will get, um, a link and just press on that group and you can join. And so what we're going to be doing in that, you were right, Donna. Yes, you were. <laughs> um, so I'm excited. I'm nervous and I'm excited at the same time. Um, it's something I've been thinking about doing for probably five or six months. Um, so I'm excited about it. So what we will do in there is I will teach you guys. Um, I know, right, Debbie? No, 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 no. So the group's going to be $14.99 a month. We will have um, like a Zoom call once a month. Um, we will learn how to make wreaths. I'll start from the bottom up to um, kind of explain what tools you guys need, um, how you pick ribbons, how, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm really going to start from the basics on up. Um, so for all you newbies out there, um, you know, want to learn how to do all this, um, I definitely suggest the group. Like I said, we will be doing one like Zoom call a month. If you guys have any questions, um, I can answer them. We will make, I will have at least one tutorial a month that I will have taped that, um, that um, you know, you guys can do at your own time. Then, oh, thanks, Kathy. And then, um, you know, at least, at least to start out, maybe one or two other lives a month. Now, until now, until Christmas, it's going to be a little crazy. So um, we're going to start out a little slow because there's going to be a lot going on in my life the next, <laughs> the next month or so. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And like I said, I'm super excited about it. Um, I think it's going to be so much fun. Um, I'm a member of several, you know, groups that teach me how to do stuff. And thank you, Sandy. So I am... Um, Carolyn, yep, I would just, um, go on to my Etsy shop. That's where I sell the stuff. And let me, so I will put this in the comments. So my Etsy shop. And about my group. So, um. That is about my group and then my Etsy shop. So I'm excited about that. Am I still going to do this call? Yes, I will still be doing um, one to two lives a week on this page. Um, but I will be doing like, um, like if you need help with your wreaths, if you want wreath critiques. Um, it's not really a business coaching group, but I will do some of that. Um, but, you know, I'll help you as much as I can. So I am really super excited about it. Yes, um, Carolyn, it's on my Etsy shop, right? I sell all my stuff on my Etsy page. So this is the link to my Etsy shop. And you can just click on there and that um, will give you the information. Oh, I wanted to show you those candy canes I made by Damon now. They're not as grandiose as Damon's, um, but I made two the other day, and then I was like, oh, Damon's doing them too. So that's my snowman. I'm excited about him. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, I love him. Love him, love him, love him, love him. So I made this one with just ribbon on it. It's kind of smushed because I had it sitting down, um, you know, that I will sell for less that kind of thing. And then this one, I kind of you know, jazzed it up a little bit, put picks and snowflakes and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, Linda, it will be, I will have one project that if you want to do, um, I'll give you like the supply list for it and you'll get a video and you can watch it whenever you want. Um, the other things I do, um, I will do a supply list and you can make them along with me or you can watch them later. Um, it's totally up to you. So this candy cane I'm going to sell for um, like 15 to 20. And then this one I'm going to sell for, I think like 25 to 30, because this has a lot more on it. So, and this is just the candy canes from the Dollar Tree, but aren't they cute? So yeah, I know they're adorable. I love them. So yeah, so I'll probably make a couple of those like lower end things to take to my craft show. So um, I'm excited, you guys. I'm really excited. I can't wait. So like I said, type in group if you're interested in the group and it takes you right to the um, PayPal link. Um, and it's $14.99 a month. So um, it's going to be fun. Like I said, I'm going to start from the basics, um, give you guys kind of a list of what, um, you know, how we, you really start out. The supplies you really need um, and you know be able to give you a little more one-on-one -on -one, um, help so oh thank you Glenda so I'm excited so like I said type in group where there's also um, a, a button on my page that says learn more or learn here or get info or something and that will take you right to that as well so um, I haven't figured out the days and the time yet, Carol. Um, that's something I need to work on. But, they'll, it, you know, once you um, get into the group, you know, you can watch the lives, you know, whenever. Um, the live tutorials, I'll pick a night and we'll work on that, maybe even a Saturday or a Sunday. So that's what we're going to do. But I think it'll be fun. And we'll, you know, we'll talk to the group and kind of see what works best. For me and what works best for the group as well so i'm super excited so go on there get started um uh, shipping it just depends on what what you're buying and where it's going and how big of a box to be honest so um i i don't really know the shipping until you know i figured all that out but i know i'm excited sydney i really am sydney was one of the people that was pushing me to do this I had a couple other people that were pushing me to do it. And honestly, I put it off for like five or six months. Um, yeah, I got them at the dollar store. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So I will still be doing some tutorials on here. Probably not as many as I do right now because obviously I'll have to give more time to the group um, and, you know, give them more of my attention. But um so yeah, so please pass the word. Um, I would love to have all you guys join me in my group. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. Thank you so much. I would definitely appreciate that, Charlotte. Um, like I said, I'm a little nervous, but I think it's going to be fun. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for today. Um, so if you want information about the group, like I said, join there and we will get started. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful evening. And I don't know if I'm going to be back on this Thursday night because I'm getting my grandkids Thursday night. If I do, it will probably be later um, after I put them to bed. So I know it won't be at 7. It might be at 8 or even 8.30 or 9, depending on what time I can get them all to bed. So, all right. Thank you guys so much. And um, like I said, just type in group and join my group. And we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Yes, I will um, put the YouTube, the um, link right in there to the store. That's to my Etsy shop. All right, guys, thanks. Have a great evening, and I will see you later this week.